Reg A plus continuous offerings. Disclaimer, this is not legal or investment advice of any kind. Seek competent advice from qualified attorneys and investment bankers. Your situation may vary. The more you know about finance and business, the more you can profit. Caution, this is only a very brief summary. Make sure you comply with the rules. Seek competent advice from a qualified securities attorney. Do not try this at home. The new Reg A Plus allows continuous or delayed offerings. These are not unlike shelf offerings for fully reporting companies under Rule 415. In shelf offerings, the stock is registered with the SEC but is not offered until later. Companies could wait to sell the new stock and offer it when the market price is acceptable. This was practically impossible under the old Regulation A. The old Regulation A required you to amend the offering circular and wait for SEC review. The long wait made it impractical to price offerings for stocks that were already trading. Under the new Reg A+, Plus, Rule 251D3, an issuer can qualify securities and intends to offer over a future period. After the offering is qualified, the issuer updates the offering circular with a supplement when it offers the stock. If the supplement contains a substantive change, it must be filed with the SEC. Because the SEC does not review or qualify the supplement, there is no wait and the company can sell immediately. The issuer must submit an annual post-qualification amendment that includes updated financial statements and which must be reviewed and qualified. The offering only has to be reviewed and qualified if there is a fundamental change. In a continuous offering, the offering statement can omit certain terms of the offering, such as the offering price and the underwriter. The issuer provides this information as a supplement within 15 days. The offering must be for all cash and the offering prices must fall within limited ranges. You can use this for the following. An offering that will commence two days after qualification and is reasonably expected to be concluded in two years. Secondary offerings or resales by securities holders. Securities offered under a dividend or interest reinvestment plan or an employee benefit plan of the issuer. Securities to be issued on the exercise of outstanding options, warrants or other rights or on conversion of outstanding securities. However, at the market offerings where the issuer sells into a trading market are not allowed. This is an important new tool. It gives new options to companies whose stock is already trading, to selling shareholders, to companies with employee benefit plans, and to those with convertible securities. To find out how this benefits you, email me John Lux at john.lux at securitieslaw.info. I look forward to talking with you. If you have questions, again, email me at john.lux at securitieslaw.info. You can call me at 202-780-1000. You can get my books on Amazon, like Reg A Plus, Offering Equity Crowdfunding for Entrepreneurs.